Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and I wanted to do a quick video today going over my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X240 13 uh, inch laptop. Um, I picked this up used probably about six months ago from eBay. Uh, I've been using ThinkPads at work, and I just had a cheap laptop for kind of use on the go, uh, my first for personal laptop. And it was just, you know, pretty crappy. It, you know, so I never needed a super fancy laptop because um, I always have my PC if I want to do like e gaming or need to render videos, um, stuff like that. But um, I really like having the ThinkPads at work. And so I decided to pick up one of these. I know kind of the hot ThinkPad right now, as of late 2019, is picking up a T440P, which I'm actually thinking of grabbing one as well because the price right now you can get a uh, a used one for about a hundred bucks on eBay and they're just great to upgrade and actually make really good laptops for the time being. But anyways, I kind of prefer a smaller laptop um, while I'm on the go and this has a full size keyboard. Um, but anyways, I'll go start going over the laptop. So, you know, it has this kind of, if you ever take one of these apart, you know, it's not, it's not like a metal necessarily, but it is like reinforced, um, you know, a little sturdier for if you drop it and, and stuff. Um, as far as ports, uh, we have uh, a VGA, um, Lenovo's kind of older power port, now they use USB-C, a uh, USB 3.0, and then a, a mini display port. Kind of one of the downsides, I wish it actually had a real, just an HDMI, I don't feel like, you know, mini display port is the greatest because you have to carry an extra dongle around, but it works. Uh, you can get them cheap on Amazon or eBay. And then on the other side, we have... Um, just a 3.5 headphone jack, another USB 3.0. Um, that's a SIM card slot um, up top, kind of in the middle there. Um, if yours is equipped with a modem, a cellular modem, we've got an, a you know one gigabit NIC and then a uh, SD card reader. I usually keep a, a micro SD to SD adapter in there since micro SD is kind of the new standard. Um, on back, we do have a dot connector um, you know, you can get those Lenovo docks, especially, you know, on eBay, you can get them pretty cheap. Um, and then we have a removable battery right now. I have the, just the three cell in there, but you can get, uh, the six cell, but I just kind of like it for, um, the compact reasons. All right. So now that we got the, um, laptop opened up, um, we do have the, um, 12 and a half inch screen might be 12 inch. I don't remember exactly the size on that. And then we have a the keyboard. Um, I did upgrade this to a um, backlit one. Um, it did come with just the standard one. Uh, I actually kind of preferred the standard one um, as far as the feel, but it is nice to have the backlight feature, especially if I'm like working in bed and my wife's sleeping, then I can kind of see the keys a little easier. Um, and then as some of you may know, on the ThinkPad X240, it actually comes with a more a one-piece, um, you know, mouse pad type of thing here, and it's it's not very user-friendly. Some people prefer it, but it's kind of like a Mac, but it's just it's just very doesn't just provide good feedback. Um, I actually swapped this out for an aftermarket one that makes it more closely um, similar to the X250. So. The X250 and the X240 are pretty much the same laptop. It's going to have the same ports, um, same motherboard for the most part, other than the fact that this has the the kind of MacBook style um, touchpad and um, the X250 goes back to the classic ThinkPad that most people have now, um, or that the like, ThinkPad kind of had before and then they went back to. So um, as far as that, you know, it's got your little... Um, track point there, um, uh, fingerprints uh, reader, and then a power button. And then I did upgrade the screen to a full 1080p screen. Um, unfortunately, I bought it on AliExpress and the seller sent, said he was going to send me a compatible one. Um, he did not. He, it was weird because it was branded um, as the correct ThinkPad model, but when you actually you know, plugged it in, none of the brightness control uh, settings worked. And so I, you know, was able to kind of pull like the hardware IDs via some utilities on the computer. And it said it was like a, a model for like a, uh, a Dell, I believe, but 
I was able to mod the BIOS, and I'll talk a little bit more about that to get the brightness working. And then also you do need to have some kind of custom drivers for the X250 version to get this working correctly with all the different buttons. But let's go ahead and turn it on here and just uh, show it. So there's the um, keyboard lighting up. You know, you can just do the function. It's got two settings to turn it off. We'll go ahead and leave it on here, get a little extra brightness. And then I have just Windows 10 installed on it. But I always uh, install Ubuntu, Ubuntu um, on all my PCs. Uh, I don't necessarily use it a ton as far as like a desktop experience, but it is nice to have um, if you need to like, you know, format a hard drive or Windows isn't working. Um, so we'll go ahead and boot into that. And then, so it's just, kind of, and most of these laptops actually come with Windows installed, so you don't have to pay extra for um, Windows. So it boots pretty fast with, you know, SSD. And then you can go and just, you know, you know, it's nice, you just log in with your, your finger there. It's gonna say hello. You know, and there's, other than that, it's just a you know, pretty standard laptop, um, you know, with the backlight, all the function keys work. Um, it does have a webcam that's uh, pretty crappy, um, but it works, you know, if you need to just go on Skype with somebody or something. Um, yeah, so this has, mine has the i5-4300, I believe, um, which is a two-core, uh, four-thread um, CPU. There is one version lower with like a little a slower i5, and then you can actually get these with um, an i7. So this is the, yeah, so there, yeah, it's the i5-4300. Um, a lot of people complain that it switched from, kind of from Intel's mobile line to their Ultrabook line, which is a little slower, but it uses less power. It's um, pretty power efficient, but, um, and the one downside, it does have a max, um, RAM of eight gigabytes. So unfortunately you can only, you can't go up to 16, but it only has one RAM slot versus most laptops that are going to have two. So, you know, if you do want to, um, upgrade the RAM, you're going to just have to um, get rid of the old one. I think they come standard mostly with four gigabytes, but you know, you could, there's so many different configured, um, versions of these on eBay if you're looking to buy one. So yeah, anyway, so the this has the 4300, and then the um, which is based on Haswell. But the, if you get the X250, you know, can, almost the same laptop, uh, it's going to have the like the Broadwell series. But as far as clock speed and stuff, it's you know marginally better, maybe about 10% faster. Um, so a little faster, but not much. But they do have the i7s. Uh, unfortunately, these. CPUs are soldered in, so the only way to swap out to a faster CPU is if you get um, uh, a new mother new motherboard, which at that point you might as well just buy a new laptop. Um, one thing that doesn't work on mine, which I don't know why, is the uh, power light. The little LED right here doesn't light up. Um, I swapped out the power button and the ribbon cable. Um, you know, I popped this off and the cable actually ties into the webcam and it comes all the way down to here. I swapped that out, I swapped out the LED, um, the little button, um, still doesn't work, so I kind of just gave up on it. I mean, obviously you can tell when it's on, um, but it's, you know, it was, would be nice to have that feature, but you know, not the end of the world. Anyways, let's, uh, you know, pause the video here and I'll take the back off and kind of go over some of the internals. Uh, real quick before I go take the back off, I wanted to go over kind of um, a little bit what's special about my ThinkPad versus just a standard 240 you'll get. So mine actually has a modded BIOS with the advanced features. There's not too much you can do um, that's useful for, for just a you know basic user, but it does have a lot of um, stuff that you'd probably find more similar on, to, on a... Uh, uh, like a desktop motherboard, um, you know, for an aftermarket um, supplier, like a like a non OEM, like a Dell or something similar. So there's a lot of those options. I haven't messed around too much with them, but um, you know, we had uh, you know security settings, uh, startup, restart, etc. 
But before you take the back off and start messing around, um, there is one precaution you can take um, to disable the internal battery. So this actually has two batteries, one that's inside and then the swappable battery in the back. Um, so you do want to remove any power to the motherboard when you're kind of tinkering around at all. So what you can do is you can go to this kind of config um, tab and you don't have to have the advanced BIOS to do this. This will work on uh, just the regular BIOS that comes factory and you want to go to disable the built-in battery and you just hit enter and it says system will be powered down if you select yes you want to proceed and basically this just disables the battery on the inside until you power it on again or you plug it in so um, we'll go ahead and hit yes and it'll turn off the laptop all right let's get this bad boy flipped over and take a look on the inside all right, let's take a look at the internals here. So when taking the back off on the X240, um, there's gonna be some screws you have to undo. Um, there's one here, 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 one in the middle here, another one in the middle on the side, and then two up top. And then just be careful when you pull this off. Um, there are some clips, just if you pull just gently, they should kind of come undone. And then also make sure to take out an SD card. There's so many times I've left an SD card in here and it's like ripped off part of the um, SD card reader and it still works, but I've had to like hot glue it down multiple times. So I just make sure I do that. Um, you know, so I just take the back off here and screwed it. No, nothing too crazy here. And then going over some of the upgrades that I have done is, um, you know, I replaced this as another uh, three cell battery. I just bought a better one at eBay. The one I had was kind of um, only working about half half of its full charge um, when it came from the factory. This one actually lasts much longer. Um, I upgraded to an eight gigabyte RAM slot. That's going to be your only RAM slots right here. Um, here's the processor and the heat sink for it. Um, I swapped out the hard drive for a um, half terabyte 512 gig SSD. Um, I did have a one gigabyte, or excuse me, one terabyte hard drive in here, um, but it was just, it was giving me issues while we were on a trip and I was, had a bunch of movies loaded on there and they just were, were freezing. I don't think it was any issue with the laptop itself. I just think the hard drive, uh, for whatever reason, um, just was having issues, which is weird because I put it in another computer and it's working fine. Maybe just, you know, being in a laptop. Um, Anyways, I want to go over some of the more uh, upgrades I have here. So these are your little two PCIe internal slots. So one of the upgrades I did is I bought a um, wire wireless AC PCIe card. So, um, you know, get fa faster speed. Some of them may come stock, but... I did upgrade that, but be careful when when upgrading that card is you have to get one that is on the white list for um, Lenovo. Only some of them will work and they're very specific models. If you don't mod your BIOS like I did, you can get that white list removed. I think the X250, actually some of the BIOS revisions actually don't have a white list, but another cool upgrade I did is normally there is a on some models, this is where the um, internal cellular modem would go. I actually swapped it out with a 240 gig SSD for my boot drive. Now be careful, because this is not MSATA, it's actually M.2, and there's only a few models that will work with this. Kind of, This specific one is a Transcend 240 gig. You can get this, I believe, in a 480. Um, but they're pretty expensive because they're a weird size. They're only the half length and um, uh, you just need to make sure it fits in here. Um, I think I paid about 50 bucks for this when it was on sale on Amazon. I'll, I'll go ahead and um, include a link for it, but it does work. It's going to be the same thing with the X250. Um, but yeah, it's really nice having that. So I, you know, I have two SSDs. Um, you know, they use, don't use very much power. There's less moving parts. The only moving part in the whole computer is the CPU fan. Um, but yeah, you know, I really like this um, laptop. The motherboard's pretty simple to, to, to you know, work on. Um, you do need to take the whole thing off if you want to change the keyboard out. I know that's kind of a complaint some people have. Um, 
but anyways back to the bios modding um so to get the screen working to get um the wi-fi whitelist added um if i ever want to do like a hackintosh in here there are some specific mini pcie wireless cards that um, work with mac so you don't have to use a little usb dongle um, i did get that modded um uh, that you you do need to like pay a guy. There's a few different people on the web who will mod the BIOS for you. It's not just simple as, um, you know, running it through a program or something. So I paid 10 bucks total, which, you know, it's not too bad. And the guy's trust was, but anyways, there's the BIOS chip is right here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but there's these little pins right there. And you actually use um, a little programmer like this to... Um, kind of clip on there and then it plugs into like the USB port on your computer um, You have to use a different like laptop or computer and there's uh, you uh, I use Linux you can use different programs. I believe you don't have to use Linux, but to flash uh, To take a dump of the old one and then you send off your BIOS and, You know buy him a beer or whatever and uh, mod it for you. He'll mod it for you and then um, You flash it back on there um, Yeah, but you know don't really have too much else to say about these. They're really upgradable, not like some of the other ThinkPads of old, but you know, I love this laptop. You know, I've got plenty of storage. I may upgrade this to a terabyte in the future if SSD prices continue to drop. But you know, easy to work on. Um, you know, not too many screws. Every, everything is replaceable. You can get tons of parts on eBay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, just add them in the comments. And, you know, make sure to give it the video a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.